I'm Sabrina Samuels, and welcome to my show, Upfront and Personal. It's my intention to deliver information that will help us maintain a quality lifestyle in all aspects of our lives. So let's get started. Welcome to my video blog. I'm Sabrina Samuels and I certainly thank you for tuning in. To all of you fabulous ladies and gents, thank you for your support. I greatly appreciate it. Before we get started, I'd like to plug my online training program, the Beckman Method School of Opulence.com. Just go to my website, SabrinaSamuels.com or the BeckmanMethod.com. See what we're all about, see what I've done over the many years I've been in business since 1982, and I'd like to serve you. If you like what I'm doing, then click onto the online training program and follow the prompts on that uh, website and it'll take you right to the program. I tell you what, this program is for women in their late 20s to early 50s. It seems to be a better fit now that we're looking at it closely because these are women who really want to not only elevate and make it to the next level, but their mind is open to new change and adventure to incorporate in what they're already doing. So thank you so much. I appreciate it. And here's another testimonial. And do you come to Canada to speak? Oh, absolutely. Yes? Yes, Wonderful. I do. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Um, because what I what I was sort of um, inspired with after I, I saw you was um, I would like to tell as many people about you as possible. And really, basically, I, you know, I don't know of anybody else who is aware of you in my personal circle. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. So I would like to just put it out there for them to watch you on YouTube. And um, I would love for you to come up and speak because there's certain circles of people that I have here. And I was thinking maybe if I gathered enough people, you know, it would be worth your while then to come. Yes. I'd like to thank that young lady for her testimonial. And remember, not only do we have the online training program, we have coaching sessions, we have consultations, we have a multitude of things that can help you if you're interested. Make sure you take advantage of the appreciation. It's a code, a gift appreciation. One of my uh, subscribers talked to me and she suggested that I do that, and I'm so glad she did. Thank you so much. It's a, a way of thanking me for the work that I put out here, the positive information that I put out here. And if you appreciate what I'm doing, send me a, a $10 or more. Whatever you feel that you can do, that would be great. On a monthly basis would be fine. And that way I can increase my uh, presentation. I can increase what I offer to you because then I can hire people who can help me and that takes money and I don't use my personal home money for my business. I don't do that anymore. So if you're interested in doing that, that would be a big blessing to me as well as continue to bless you. All right, let's go to the question of the week. And I'm, I'm going to tell you a story. This question, oh my goodness, this thing clicked off. Oh. I think I wait too long. Okay. Why it's important to be appreciative. Why it's important to be appreciative. Now, I actually made that title of myself based on some information that I'm going to share with you. A while back, I talked to one of my uh, close friends of many years, and we were just chatting. Um, and she shared with me, this is before the pandemic hit, so that was a couple of years ago. And it, but it's a timely story because it fits. She was sharing with me uh, an experience at the church she attends. And she was saying that they, you know, every, I guess every month or whatever meeting time that the, this particular committee meeting, uh, the committee meets, you know, you go in there and there's a group of women and, you know, you have to do whatever your, your protocol is. I have no idea what they did, but she, she had me cracking up on the phone. 
She said, you know, Sabrina, people need to be nice and not mess with quiet people. They don't need to mess with humble, quiet people because they might just fool you. And I said, well, so-and-so, what do you mean by that? She said, girl, I was in the church meeting the other day and we were sitting around the table and this very nice, meek woman comes in. She's very efficient, very efficient in her work, but she's very quiet. She doesn't try to stand out. She doesn't try to take over. She doesn't try to be the star of the show, but she knows what she's doing. And the chairperson apparently doesn't like her because she knows that this woman, even though she walks off and carries a big stick, she's just low key. And people tend to gravitate to her and ask her for suggestions, advice, etc. So the chairperson, I guess, didn't like that because she's the chairperson, of course. She's the one in charge and you should be going to her for everything. So uh, I guess one day it got on her nerves and so she just attacked the little the humble woman. She just attacked her. And you know, the lady, she, my friend told me the lady's uh, eyeballs whipped up in, in little, you know, tears. Because this woman always would, would, would just dig, you know, do a dig every time they had a meeting. She would always say something offensive or just do something that's not nice. It's, it just really curt to just put it to the point. And um, she said, that lady, her eyes whipped up, and, you know, and she, tears didn't drop, but you could tell she was bad. And she stood up and said, and she was just very calm. She stood up and said, so-and-so, after this meeting, when we get out in the parking lot, I'm going to whoop your ass. And everybody in the meeting, just, oh, everybody went crazy. She said, and I'm not going to say that word again. I just wanted to get the effect because I had to say the word to, to get the effect. But everybody got quiet. And she said, what did you say to me? What did you say to me? She said, I'm going to whoop your when we get to the parking lot. And she said, oh, I, and then, of course, the big bad wolf, she's all of a sudden coming down off that perch. And she said, wait a minute, wait a minute, what did I do to she, The woman said, I'm a nice person. I'm a giving person. I'm a meek person, but I'm no fool. And I'm going to kick your A when we get to the parking lot. Oh, my friend said you could hear a pin drop in that room. Everybody was totally in shock because they didn't expect this behavior from a meek, mild person who carries a big stick in her knowledge. She doesn't have to show off. She's got it together in her knowledge. And she gives you the information and she's quiet. She goes all along her business. And so it, it just got so quiet. And so, you know, they didn't know how to break the ice. And so she broke the ice. She stood up and showed how she could be the boss too. She said, let's keep on with our meeting because I got things to do at my house. My grandchildren are coming over and I've got things to do. I've got to get home and cook, but I'm going to whoop your A when we get to that parking lot. She said everybody was just in shock. And can you imagine, I just got the visual and I'm telling you this story because it stays on my mind sometimes when I see bullies. It stays on my mind. Sometimes you'll be a bully to somebody and you're going to bully the wrong person. So the women, they tried to calm the woman down and, and the, the, the little meek lady, she, she wasn't, you know, she wasn't all flushed and rah. She said, no, I'm fine, I'm fine. And the, the, the bully, well, wait a minute, I, I'm sorry if I said something to you wrong. I'm sorry if I disrespected you. I'm sorry if, cause I, I, I'm just trying to, to do this business. And everybody knew that the bully was out of place and she was always out of place. She didn't like this one because the woman was smart and she didn't have to tote or, or boast about her smartness because people were aware of that and they came to her naturally. So she said, well, I'm sorry, I'm this and that. So the, the woman went over to her, the meek lady, and she stood up and everybody got scared because they thought she was going to knock her out in the church. <laughs> and she hugged her. And she said, thank you for your apology. That takes all that I needed to say, okay, God, you can handle this now. We won't have to do anything in the parking lot because I think we're established now. I think you understand me clearly and I understand you clearly. Everybody just, I can only imagine how everybody felt. Can you just imagine the moment of dealing with a situation like that, whether you were a part of it or you were 
you're looking at it or you're thinking about it or even me who just heard about it over the phone. Amazing. The point is be appreciative of everyone and everybody is a star. Some people are humble stars. Some people, that doesn't mean walk on you because you have uh, don't mean that. Be a beautiful star. Be an outstanding star. I'm an outgoing person, but I don't step on toes. Now, if I'm handling business and I'm doing a show, which I used to do years ago, I don't do any of that anymore. And I have to pop the whip. I have to pop the whip. But people know I'm a good person. The people who work with me knew I was good, but at the same time, I had to handle that business. Handle it. But if someone steps out of line with you, you got to put them in that place. I would not tell you say to you to tell me you're going to take you out the parking lot. I wouldn't do that. But I will say to you, you have to let them know unequivocally that you don't take no mess and you are not playing. And you can pull them to the side to do that. Say, excuse me, so-and-so, can I talk to you for a minute? I need to talk to you. No, I need to talk to you right now. Take them outside and get, that, get the party started with the communication being appreciative of each other, and then step back in like nothing happened and handle that business. We need to do that. In this world, we need to have better appreciation for one another. And we need to know that everyone has a gift. Develop and find what your gifts and talents are and be appreciative to God for that. And if you see someone that has a gift that you can utilize and that you need, Appreciate that gift from them and work together for good. But don't ever underestimate people. I never underestimate people, especially quiet people, because they're always paying attention. They're unassuming, but they're paying attention to detail, baby. And I never underestimate a powerful person because they can put your lights out if they choose to. But a powerful person, make sure in your position, you must learn the ultimate respect of others. And with that said, I hope that tickled your memory a little bit. I thank you for tuning in. I love you. God loves us. We love him. Let us all do our part to handle that business. Take care of that business and it will take care of you. And let's do our part for God because good will prevail. In the end, it always does. Love you and see you next week. Bye now.